It uh, is the life of a social media influencer <laughs> in Gaza, France. Uh, international star uh, is Bessany, Frank Bessany. I forgot to buy Franco? deodorant. We, we have to put deodorant on. I smell. I don't smell. I just sweat. I need uh, we are telling two different stories. <laughs> what I've learned is luggage is like people. You don't know it until you've actually traveled with it. What luggage to bring was a big decision. I'm gonna try out some new luggage for this trip. I brought to me luggage and put it in a nice bra and I'm gonna carry this on, thank you. I already hate this fancy bag because it doesn't line up with the handles. That's already a flaw. A few things. Nice has an incredible duty-free international terminal. The international terminals are one of the really most exciting parts about traveling, except for the La Compagnie terminal, non-event. This is the whole pretty much Terminal. Two. Goyard suitcases are useless. Garbage. Paul got me Baby Yoda. We have an inside joke, but he's the only guy who is sure not to. This is like, this is the problem. He could push it with his mind. He could push it with his mind. They say we can only have one carry on. And that makes me scared. We have many carry ons. But we are staying about 30, 25 minutes away from Central Pay in a hotel called Lily of the Valley, which is a stunning, stunning property on the beach. Also another part of the property, the main property has a gorgeous spa overlooking the water, beautiful restaurant. We don't like to stay where it's hip. We don't like to be at the thing. It's just too much pressure, too people-y. Usually these places are overrated. The places that you hear about the most are overrated, meaning we like to find local treasures. We're in a town called Gassin, G-A-S-S-I-N. So now we're in a town that's not the thing and we just bought some cute little inexpensive local French treasures. And this town is so pretty. Two gay gentlemen recognized me. I am very big in Gassin. We dip in and out. We go into Central Pay to get a little action, buy something, get some ice cream, eat a meal, and go back to the nest. That's how we travel. And we don't like reservations. We like everything last minute and we get what we get. And we don't get upset. So this is the Lily of the Valley Hotel. We're staying down by the beach, which I actually love. It is this stunning hotel that has the most extraordinary view. They have these beach villas that are down by the beach and they're very private. So we don't have to go in and out of a lobby. This is so beautiful. Oh my God. Beautiful. This is spectacular. Wow. So chic. Wow. 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 Wow, Paul. Wow, Bethany. Wow. 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 Paul has never been to Saint-Tropez. I was here last summer visiting Chateau Rubin, my partner in Forever Young Wine. So today is the big dog and pony show at Bagatelle, which is a full scene to take photos and video for social, to promote Forever Young because they're going to be big supporters of this wine and this brand. And this is kind of where the CMB scene Saint-Tropez social lunch happens. So we are at Bagatelle in Saint-Tropez. Hey, Paul. Hat bow dress, Zara shoes, Gucci glasses. Definitely a little TNA today. Young Wine is from Provence. It's a song that used to play at the end of the night when I was a cocktail waitress in Boston, saving up money to live in France. This is Charles, he distributes wine. This is Valérie, she owns Chateau Rubin, the winery that makes this beautiful wine. It is a family business. We had a baby together. Paul, very French, merci. It's like a double D burrata. This is shrimp carpaccio on a sesame. Saint 
okay, beach outfit. It's a Valentino bathing suit, random store, Vince Camuto, beach bag, Bethany glasses, and wherever you are. Look at this guy's workplace. How great is his office? Buzz, and Mont. I mean, now we have to try it. And the maxi shoe shoes. Flamboise pour monsieur. It's like a popsicle and a breath mint at the same time. Like it's strong minting. It's like an Altoid popsicle. I actually love this idea. It's a functional popsicle. Merci Martine. I have to give Martine credit. Very hard work. This is a mouthwash popsicle. Isn't it a good concept, sort of? Yeah. Or you don't know? Yeah, have it later. Okay. I'll go to breakfast, but I'm wearing my pajamas. That's what you're offering? Best vinyl. Do it. Bombastic side eye. <laughs> so, hey, this is Bethany. We're in the south of France at Lily of the Valley. And Eugene Levy is our neighbor. This is for Eugene's travel show, which we're now starring in. Um, I tried to get a video, my own video in my own life of the veranda, but I wasn't allowed. I was scolded because I'm interrupting the shoot. So I think I might be on another show in addition to our show. If you want to know what the buzzing behind me is, it's not a giant bumblebee, it's a giant drone. We're eating breakfast by Hornet's Nest. Bizarre. You can't write this. We're being very quiet now. We are quanting rabbits. We're whispering at breakfast and I'm not allowed to take pictures. This is our own travel show. We're doing our own travel show. Yeah, we're doing our, this is our own self-produced travel show. Jesus, mother. <laughs> we met him yesterday we're best friends don't worry but we are filming it because it's an experience that i'm having and i'm sharing it with you the coffee chronicles with paul burnin he goes to another country and he asks for an iced coffee with ice he always uses his hand to say ice and then they bring him hot coffee over ice diluted and then he puts more ice in it and doesn't like the way it tastes and then asks for another coffee and like the coffee chronicles have started I can't get my coffee program straight here. It's a tiny little coffee and then milk, we can't get it right. I'm a, I'm a gringo American, I can't get it right. And it tastes like doo-doo caca. It's like watered down dishwashing soap. There's a lot going on. I'm very concerned about the packing. So let's go back to the room and like look at the situation and pray that everything will close. And I've got my Tumi luggage and I like it. And my shitty Goyard luggage carry on and I don't like it. We are going to discuss that when we get back to the room. I pack with intention. I'm the person that takes a long time, thought and care, and I pack with intention because I wanna come home and I want everything to be with its friends in pouches. Everything has to be in a pouch. It's pouch life. So packing to go home is just like packing to come here. It's not like throw the shit in because I, I unpack them and I get home. So like, this is all my glasses in this beautiful glass thing and they have little support and it even has a B on it. But like, this is also glasses extension cords in its own pouch. This is lingerie that I didn't wear in its own pouch. And then this is all like hair products. This is SPF. I live a pouch full life. If you buy good luggage and you're going to check it, you need to get it a bra, a supportive bra. It's a little bit of a pain in the but you want to preserve your nice luggage. Want to get a chicken from the car? It feels a little messy. But how good did it look? Hey guys, just walking to burn some more frocks in a little local boutique. Too bad my bathing suit's up my butt cheeks. Nothing I can control this time. Okay, so we are in. So we are leaving the Central Pay area. We stayed at this. So we are leaving the Saint Tropez area. Now we're making a company move and we're going to Antibes, another area just for one day and one night. And here's the thing, on paper it all sounds good. And then you've shopped and you've bought stuff and you're on top of your own stuff. We have reached the point in the vacation where I have realized that I have purchased too much. Okay, here's a couple of things that happened. These hats, it's too much. This poochy thing, this big like kite that I was wearing as a dress today, I look like I'm wearing a tent and this rag of a blanket from the beach why did i buy this hairy disgusting thing why the only thing i will say to you that was an amazing thing from this trip these are like zara sandals because they're all knocking off Bottega. this is 
$50. They're not even. I think I paid $20 because I got two for one. But that's a different story. Someone gave me a book. I read a half a page. Oh, let's see the Europe outfit. Did not yet wear this. I'm going to try to wear that tonight with a new purchase. It's a major bag alert. It's very special. Really special. Ready? Let's do it. The Chanel bird cage. This is how you hold it. This I wore getting rid of this. Another. I'm wearing like old lady clothes. Like what happened? Here's my ma dress that's gone. I don't want you anymore. In fairness, we didn't want to go away. We felt like we just wanted to stay home and we had the best time, but now the wheels are coming off. This is like the day when you're in the car for two hours schlepping on top of your own stuff. And yeah, it's this is the witching hour of the vacances. You wanna play a game? What kind of game do you wanna play? Punch, punch boogie? What kind of game? Had le, le saucisson? This is the snack that I found. These are crosts. Here's my suggestion. When you stay on vacation, if you want snacks in your room, they're like little toasts. They're cracker toasts. You don't have a toaster in your room, which you probably don't. So you just get some cheese, salami, and crost it up. Let me make a crost to you. We were heroes leaving Lily of the Valley. All is going well in Du Monde. And then we showed up in Antibes with 16 suitcases looking like we were gonna set up a tent and start telling fortunes. So embarrassing. It's always, always this close. Can never land the whole way. But we like it and we're adventurers and I have to get the shuffleboard and then dominoes and bingo. See you later. We're still in the car. One day we'll get to a hotel and then we'll unpack our and leave tomorrow to go home. But it's okay. I'm so excited. It's amazing. We effed it up but we're positive because we're together and we're having a really nice time together and yeah breaking luggage announcement whoa this is a turn of events that i wasn't expecting to me luggage i was raving about it and it's beautiful one two is a nick three is this bitch this should not happen on one trip wow there is nothing better than the feeling of being home from a trip unpacked bathed Settled. The reason we a lot of people hate traveling, myself kind of included, is because you're kind of weighing the positives and the negatives. So the amazing is that you're seeing new things, you're eating new things, you're buying new things. It's amazing. Then you sit for 45 minutes and you wait for your luggage after being nine hours on a plane. Then you drive an hour and a half to get home to your house. Your body's aching, you're dehydrated, you don't know what time it is, what you're supposed to eat. You wanna get home and like just take a bath and go to bed, but you have to unpack and if you're OCD like I am, you have to really unpack every single thing until you get settled. So once you finally, finally get into the bed clean, it is the best feeling. And this morning, we have the coffee the way we like it. No coffee chronicles here and it's just the best. I, I really do think home is where the heart is. I, I love being home. and. The problem is you have to go away to get perspective about being home because you get a little stale. You need to shake it up, but damn, man. Once you shake it up, that travel is whoops your ass. Hello, hello, dumpo, dumpo. Yeah, da, 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 da.